Ah, yeah, it's the Beast and King and the Rat King. Rat King. Oh, hey, man. Sorry. That's the way you want to start the show. My bad, man. Oh, <laughs> oh, fuck. This reminds me of the time, dude, when I was in um, fifth grade or fourth grade. It could have been four. I did fourth grade two times, too, because... Um, Your mom held you back? No. School was a lot harder when I was growing up mm. than it is now. Now these kids, you at, like they can be whatever grade they want. You know, They pick? It's kind of like the gender. You can be whatever gender you yeah. want. It's like, yeah. oh, I'm in ninth grade today. Yeah. Oh, and I'm you in fourth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm 20. <laughs> yeah. You can't deny them or those a lawsuit. Yeah, I agree. But this, um, they had this thing. If you got in a fight with somebody at school, you had to stand in the hallway and you had to put your arms on each other's shoulders like that. And you had to hug each other for the rest of the day in the hallway. So you had to like, it wasn't like a full hug, but it was like you had to put your hands on each other's shoulders and stand there in the hole. So when the other kids would go out between class, they would see you and this kid you fought like right there. Had to, this like, isn't a legit school? Or yeah. This is like a, your mom running this? No, this is a legit school. Wow. This is the real principal. Lawton McKee was the principal. McKee would make the kids touch each other for the whole day? Yeah, not touch each other. That's uh, that's creepy, bro. Either yeah. way, touching each other, staring into each other's eyes for the entire day but then the thing was you became friends with the person that you were so it was like a terrible idea this is the guy the kid that beat me up you know or i actually beat him up i think no 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 no. don't (laughs) you got beat up that's fine i mean i could have got beaten up or it could have i don't remember what was going on um and but yeah we had to hug for the rest of the day man and now you guys you guys were friends and they were friends after you went through that journey together oh yeah that's why it worked yeah i was like dang yeah because you kind of had to face it like it was like Man, now he know like you had to get to know each other. You're right you there, but you could only look away for so long. It's same thing in detention. Like whenever we'd be in detention, even if you fought the other kid or he stole something of yours, you were going through that together. Yeah. Both sucked. You had no one to talk to talk to, so you'd look over like, damn, this sucks, bro. Like, yeah. God, it sucks. Yeah. We'd be boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was dope. So that's, that's kind of what we're doing right now. Yeah, I feel like I'm yeah, having to hang out with the guy that yeah, beat me. I feel like up. I'm forced to be here. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel like. But then we're going through this together. Well, yeah, we are, I guess, dude. I don't want to admit it, but yes, I will admit that. We're going through this life together. Partners. Okay, calm partners. Down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and don't laugh like that. You laugh like uh like somebody's, you know, just like molesting a hyena. You know, <laughs> I feel like something's wrong with you. <laughs> molesting a hyena? Yeah. Good luck with that, bro. So let's kick off uh freaking rip my drip. Let's do this. And somebody said rip some crip. They sent in a uh what, a gang, a gang member? banger. Yeah. Mm, okay. That's a little dicey. Yeah, I'm not doing I'm it. I'm not trying to <laughs> yeah. get shot. And rip my crip. Nah. And then somebody sent in a crippled friend of theirs. See, that's where it gets confusing. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, I'm not, you know, uh, that guy seemed like a nice guy. The wheelchair go. was busted, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> First up, Theo Vaughn. God nice. damn, bro. You know you're coming on the show and you wear a freaking Curious George sweatshirt. Yeah. This is and then Chris- you have this fresh, wet, gender haircut you're doing i don't know what's going on there your sweatshirt this is a very stylish cut you look like a third grade substitute teacher yeah and third grade is a very popular grade yeah and you you look like the guy who came out to la to make an acting and ran out of lunch money and sucks on his mom's titties for breast milk what that's yeah. what you look like, bro. That's not a real person that you're talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, it is. It's you, bro. When you're dressed like that, it's super sus. And this is a Christmas gift, you freaking Terrible gift Neanderthal. From Neanderthal. This is Curious George. You know damn well you didn't have that book growing up as a kid. Yes, I did have this book, dude. And this is Curious George, you No, I know who it is, bro. famous animal. You're too old to be... You, no one else... No one's else spidey sense goes off when you see a grown man in a Curious George sweatshirt drinking Pedialyte <laughs> with that haircut. I'm not drinking it. a white. Pop- Van. That's a pity light popsicle, dude. I'm off the bottle. Uh, I'm not doing anything. Bro, you look like every character from the first 48 show. Oh, dude, that show that show's good, man. I love that Chris show. Jalea has one of the best jokes. He goes, It's a show about uh they have 48 hours to solve a crime, but really they have as much time as they want. <laughs> it's so true. It's it's as much time as yeah. they want. It's a show six months later, <laughs> they wrap the case. I'm like, what's that called fucking for six months? Dude, and they're really just busting black people for doing stuff. Why don't they call the show what it is, you know? Well, that's cops. Yeah. You're well, thinking of I don't cops, know. Bro. I think they changed it. The cops been on air for 30 yeah. years because of that. Um, 
Yeah, I think too much, man. Yeah, dude, you just look a little strange. You look like you, you look like you were styled by fucking Freddie Mercury side piece. It's a nice sweater, man. Dude, it's not. It's creepy at your age to be wearing that. And you got them busted shoes. You got that weird kitty sweater on. You got it's an peanut, adult. You got peanut butter in your pocket, and then all of a sudden your back starts to give out. Why would you have back problems? My From back what? hurts. From what? I used to collecting do rocks as a kid. L five S one. I was moving bro. To you're wearing Christmas undies. I had a spasm, you goon. A spasm? Yeah. A curious George sweatshirt. Be- beagle boy. You look like one of the Beagle Boys. <laughs> Like semi handsome brother that tried to get into modeling from DuckTales. <laughs> Do you look I'll like take a that. straight up fucking Do nice. I'll take that. You look like a nice monster, you freaking mammal. Yes, my back hurt, and that's why I'm down on the ground because, and nobody even tried to help me. Some asshole took a picture of me while I was out there. Yeah, you damn right they did. Because I have you... an L5S1 issue. Dude, have you ever had an L disc issue? Yeah, I have. Yeah, and well, it what doesn't do look like it? this. Just wander this, around bro. like a creep with a bad disc. No, I go to the ground, dude. dude you look like a lunch lady who got kicked in the nuts. Bro, what? <laughs> in the woman nuts, bro? In them ovaries you talking about? Nah. You don't know how to nuts. deal with pain, dude, bro. Dude, my lunch lady made sloppy joes and had a pair of nuts. Yeah, dude, what? yeah bro. You are my she was lunch nice. lady, dude. You look definitely like one of the most clean cut lunch women I've ever bro, met. Bro, you look like a lunch lady with 100%. that fucking sloppy Joe haircut. What are you and talking about? And I'll tell about? you this: my favorite lunch lady, Miss Annie, and all rest in rest in peace. Does she have nuts? No, dude. She was about seven seventy hundred and uh, years old, and she lived across the street from us. And her grandson actually killed her. Damn. And she's she had my a mustache? favorite. Lunch she have a mustache. Lady. Well, she was old. She just had, at a certain point, all the hair that's in your body just it comes goes back out. out onto your face. I feel yeah. like lunch ladies age faster than anybody. Yeah. Their hair comes out. You have hair, moles, or nuts. I don't know about that, dude. I know that she fucking could double scoop you so fast, though, brother. I mean, before you knew it, you had extra years. Oh, and then and then mine would always slip me a strawberry milk, an extra strawberry really? milk. I'd be like, thanks, bitch. Uh, first of all, milk has an I in it is the second letter. Uh, it's not M-E-L-K. So uh, a strawberry milk is milk, nothing. dude. Yeah, bro, milk. You've been drinking milk your whole life. Dude, dude, I'm, I'm from fuck. Denver, dude. Where Denver, Scotland? You've been drinking milk. <laughs> Who makes dude. your milk Guinness, dude? You know what? You're jealous because you're fucking. Oh, you're listening shitty. to the Pogues and having dude, some milk. Your shitty lunch lady never hooked you up with strawberry. She got milk. murdered by her grandson who had a Rottweiler. Okay. Oh wow. And his name was Brad, and he never owned a shirt. Dude, you always make it dark, bro. I was just talking about fucking lunch ladies. Yeah, and I was talking about having them rest in peace in their souls. I hope that that Lord double scoops you some fucking green yeah, beans, yeah. Annie. Resting gravy, baby. KPWA. <laughs> I used to get uh, detention. You'd have kitchen patrol with Annie, and you'd have to stand there next to Annie while she did the scooping, dude. And it was resting government cheese, baby. <laughs> nothing that made your neck sweat more. And but that's how you became friends, and those were the good old days when you stand next to your enemy with your hands on their shoulders. Yeah, man. you could do that. You know, so R.I.P. Dude, and uh, should we R.I.P. Brendan? Oh, yeah, let's yeah. do it. Here's Brendan. Dude, Shaw. you look like an extra from Dallas Buyers Club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, <Yeah. laughs> that was pretty good. Thanks, bro. I'll give you a point for that one. Okay, here's Brendan right here. That's uh, a point, bro. That's a point. Dallas Buyers Club. Why is that What's thing? Up? still in here <laughs> you know how we roll we'll wait for that segment go ahead and rip that swaggy swaggy drip drip oh my what's god what's up bro dude. bro you look like first of all a persian coal miner okay that's what you look like dude right? do they have coal miners huh no but it's just a guy that stands outside of the fucking mine complaining about shit and stealing <laughs> all the gold so that's what you look like right there um and what is that dude you look like uh you look like a strong, you look like a gay hit man. That's what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you look like. Like, uh, <laughs> oh, don't worry, boss. I'm going to fucking suck the guy's dick till he die. Well, dude, hitmen suck dick now? Huh? Gay, a gay hitman. Did whole... they shoot him then suck their dick? No, you got to figure bro. this out, bro. It's your okay. logic is all over the place, bro. Mine? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> you let your logic dripped out of your ear in a freaking octagon, bro. You don't know what the fuck you're talking Dude, about. Dude, your logic is <laughs> hanging off the back of your neck. You're the only guy who got C- all C's in homeschool. Your mom gave you C's. What the fuck? Yeah, well, mom. Come on, mama. <laughs> Fucking see, my mom was a tough teacher, dude, <laughs> and she didn't let us. Uh, and she didn't. Let, she didn't give us study guides. Makes sense. All right, let's see some of these other. But yeah, you look like a gay hit man. <laughs> That's bro. hilarious. Here's the first one. Uh, fan submission from Ashley Peters. 
Ashley Peters, which is a no. Oh, damn. Uh, scroll in. What is she sip? Is she sipping on something? She, has a, she and I have the same nose. I'll go with that. Start there. Can we start there? You have the same hair as well. Rip my drip. Rip my hairstyle. You and her have the exact Scout same hair. Scout my snout, bro. Look at that snout. Can you zoom in on that snout? She has the potato nose, too. It's not a potato, you... Dude, save some oxygen for everybody else in the room. Theo. Dude, I'll put all you guys to sleep in a heartbeat. We're all, I'll, we're I'll all, pull it all in and leave just a little bit of monoxide for you freaking little queens. little lightheaded, bro. Yeah, why don't um, you go fucking shoot a gay guy like your boss told you to, you creep. Dude, why don't you sell me some AIDS viruses? What? <laughs> Dallas Buyers Club, bro. <laughs> It's called DBC. Don't fucking pronounce it every time. What else? Can we get a, a out, out? Look, can we look at her from the outside? Dude, what is she sipping on? Also, it's the middle of the day. She seems like she's hammered. <laughs> That's true. Hammered. A lot of. Oh, things. I've seen that. She's off intervention. Yep, I knew it. I knew I had to oh. spot her somewhere. Yeah, she's off the show intervention on AE. Yeah, she does seem yeah, she's like. She's famous, bro. And, and she seemed like a very nice. You know, up like a lady that kind of drinks during the day, but also probably holds up a job. Like you don't have that. You know, she has on. Oh, you mean function alcoholic? Yeah, function. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's like a functional alcoholic. She has a uh, ballet <laughs> dress on. She looks like the funnest ant in the world. Yeah, she definitely. She looks like the ant. But actually, in this picture, can we zoom out a little more there, Nick? It looks like she has just cornered an underage person in a bedroom. And wants to tell her about her new job. Yeah. She and corners she, you in the corner and, and tell you about the movie she just saw. And she keeps talking and talking and talking until you bust all over. And then she goes to jail for taking advantage of youngsters. Oh, interesting. I've been involved with this type of lady. Okay. And look at her legs are going. She, she, God put her legs on the wrong sockets. Yeah, they so did. One, the left foot's on the right. The oh, right's yeah. on the left. She's doing the... Yeah, sometimes when you're... Sometimes the Lord just... Bakes the hokey pokey right into you, you know? <laughs> yeah, she looks hydrated, though. I'll give her that. Oh, she definitely looks hydrated. She likes all the hydrate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to that aunt, the yeah. funniest aunt in the world. She seemed like a beautiful uh, woman. What's her name? Tandra? Ashley Peters. Ashley Peters. All right, the next one from John Brantley. Rip his drip. Goddamn, John. Look at that <laughs> powerful beard. John looks like he's trying to fuck and what? pay for Why? it. He, that's just the, the, the vibe he's giving off, bro. And no. then what's his sweater say? You've messed with the wrong woman. Exactly. <laughs> Tattoos on the hand, clearly a felon, orange cap. Bro, you know, he has a snitch cap going on. And then he has a powerful, powerful fucking man bag. Dude, this is a woman's marcher, first of all, <laughs> I think. Oh, right. no. You know what? He's the mascot for the Me Too movement. Yeah, yeah. I've seen this guy. This guy, uh, wow. He does have that man pouch. He has the um, Michael. <clears throat> who is that killer from Halloween? Michael. Just Michael. He didn't have a last name. Yeah, he has the Michael Martin. Michael Martin pants. No, there's no Martin, bro. It's just Michael from the Michael. Yeah, the, the killer, guy has bro. a last name. You no, think? he doesn't, bro. You think his name's Michael something? There's Freddy <laughs> Krueger, but then it was just Michael, bro. No, there isn't. Mike Myers. Oh, that's <laughs> right. What did you call him? Michael Davids? No, dude. Yeah, you, you call him Mike Myers. Don't turn it on me. You he didn't call him Mike Myers. Who's okay. Michael Martin? <laughs> yeah, Michael Martin, dude, who sounds like a killer. And it's Michael Myers, not just Michael. That's dude, I call him Michael. Yeah. But well, in, my, in my house, we call him just Mike. Scary Mike. <laughs> what? That's insane, bro. It's me backfield. No, yeah. Dude, just that's scary Mike. Where you get crap. Dude, it's at. just Michael's, scary Mike. You idiot. I'll tell you about this scary Mike, though. That shady fucking rusted outhouse behind them. There's <laughs> definitely some dead bodies back there, dude. Or that, broads tied down. Oh, that's a straight up bone shack, dude. Face He's down, ass necklaces. up. They're tied down, bro. And this guy reminded me of a fellow. This dude I knew, named Wayne, and everybody called him Wild Wayne. People always call Wayne's Wild Wayne, and they're not. Well, they're he just was fucking a, Wayne. Wayne wasn't know? wild. No, none of them are. And uh, but they call him Wild Wayne, and he um. You know, raccoons have a bone at the base of their Johnson, you know? Really? Yeah. And they would, he would make necklaces out of them. His family had oh, like unlimited raccoons around their area. Like a voodoo guy. Yeah, kind of voodoo jeweler, really. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this guy looks like somebody that would be doing that out there. Like, a, you know, he has that man pouch. It could have a little bitty saw in there where he's just... He looks like he works with his hands. He looks like he makes lamps out of human skin or some shit. Oh, it's hand ammonium once this dude fucking gets anywhere. And he has his Michael Myers legs and boots. Um, night, but he see, I love his 
hat, his orange hat for safety. You know, he has that serial killer swag about him. Like he's put together well, but I don't want to touch him. Well, he doesn't come into town much, you know, unless he needs maybe milk or, or something. He's what we refer to as an outsider. Yeah. What else we got? Hey, Theo, Sunday, a big day, my man. Yeah, big day without my Saints in it. Yeah, but I know you're sad about it. Yep. Don't be sad, bro, because you make bank. It's Super Bowl Sunday, y'all. It's the biggest sporting event of the year yep. this Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday, and it's your last opportunity to play fantasy football this season. Your final opportunity with Single Game Showdown. And that is the newest way to play at... DraftKings, y'all! That's right, the big game by offering you guys... A free shot at $1 million. That's right. With your first deposit, you get $1 million. You get a chance at $1 million, Brandon. You could. Yeah. You could. Read the directions. Dude, share the $1 million if you win it. Yeah, dude, dude. if you win it, will you give me some? I mean, yeah, bro. 10%, bro. Oh, I'll give you $10. Oh, wow. That's selfish. Yeah, but it's more than you had. If you're thinking about trying DraftKings, now's the time. When are you going to try? In the summer? You're going to bet on soccer in Australia or Austria? You can bet on preseason? Yeah, What dude. are you going to bet on? Now's the time. It's yeah. Super Bowl Sunday. What are you going to bet on the crime rate in Johannesburg? Yeah, what are you going to bet on the temp in Chicago summers? <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is draft six players from the big game, one captain, and five other players. Yep, your captain will earn 1.5 times the points. You can go for value or for star power to anchor your lineup. This is crazy. This is crazy, bro. It's that simple. Six players from one game. Just stay under the salary cap and see how your team stacks up against the competition. Stacks up. Stack it. Stack. Stack it. Go to DraftKings.com or download the app now. Now, now. For a limited time, use code CATS. That's CATS with a K. Yeah, K-A-T-S to enter the all-new Single Game Showdown contest for free this Sunday with your first deposit and compete for the... One million dollar Top prize. That's code K-A-T-S only at DraftKings.com. The game inside the game. Ooh. Minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for details. Boom! It's time for Debate Club. First one we got from <clears throat> Justin Gelke. Hey guys, this is Jason from Austin, Texas, and I have a debate club topic for you. Kelly Kapowski or Topanga? <laughs> Come on, bro. Brennan's Kelly Kapowski <laughs> or fucking Topanga? Kelly Kapa Kapowski versus everybody. <laughs> she was the best. Oh, I jacked off her relentlessly Did as a you child. Really? That's oh sad. man. And sometimes every now and then I'd throw an AC Slater just to mix it up, bro. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, bro. I mean, if I did have one vision one time where I came into the air and then he caught it in his dimple. Oh, you know? oh Screech, though, for you, I assume. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, you Screech. look like a Screech fan. No, I don't at all. Screech stabbed you look a look like woman. Screecher's older brother. <laughs> I don't, dude. <laughs> what, dude. What was Screech's older brother's name? Theo. Nah. <laughs> dude. Uh, Topanga's hot as fuck though too. She was on the cover of Maxim like ten years ago. Yeah. She's doing the damn thing. She's if you like them a little thicker, she, that was her. Topanga to was for the thick kids. Topanga was cute. That was the thing. Oh, dude, Kelly she's like was a hot. Topanga was cute. Cute doesn't age well. That's really? what I'm telling you. Well, yeah. check out this cuteness. Boom! What's up, bro? Full set of tits. To bang ya, dang. To bang ya, dang ya. Wait, zoom. That ain't even her. <clears throat> that's her, bro. We'll zoom in more because that's air all the milkshakes. You ready to get that fucking little boner out? Mm, that look how what do they saw part of her head in? She looks, uh, dude. She is delicious. How tall is she? Six two, I think. Can you look at how tall she is, please, Nick. Six two, six four. I don't know. Spit She's boner. six two, dude. Spit Topanga boner, five say. three. How tall is Kelly Kapowski? Five one Ooh. for a uh, five for one. Topanga. Yeah, and a white girl. <clears throat> five. Yeah, cute doesn't age well, man. I'm saying. What this. are you talking about? She's a straight up dime piece. Bro, it looks like... Oh, look at Kelly Kapowski. High five. Looks like she ate all the food at the max. <laughs> really? Look at her, bro. What are you talking about? Dude. Kelly Kapowski ate all the fries at the max. Bring up an inch. Dude, get out of the max. <laughs> all the max bro. fries. She had four kids, bro. Dude, Topanga had seven. No. Yeah. Wow, Dude. Kelly looks like she's had a, definitely had a long... Like 2005 was a long yeah, <laughs> but Kelly looks wet. I look, dude, it's still dude, Kelly all day. Dude, Ke Kelly, no, Kelly as a kid, Kelly when we were kids, 
no one hotter. She was no the best. No one And I was hotter. even mad at Lisa Turtle but as a kid. But now it's Topanga. Dude, Topanga as Dude, an she's adult? she's wifey, son. As, a, as an adult, it's Topanga. She's as a 40 kid, years it's old. She's 5'1". She seems chatty. She seems like a real bitch on the show, to be honest. <laughs> She wouldn't even give that kid the time of day, and she was Dude, bossy. think about Kelly Kapowski fucking blue-balling our boy Zach Morris for years. Never sucked him off. Not even a hand job. A simple hand job in his room. You can't do a hand job on that show, dude. Yeah, you can, dude. Screech got him all the time. Yeah, he From gave Lisa. Him Lisa no. Turtle did it for him. Yeah. I you missed that episode? No, I didn't. Yeah, and Belding walked in and then jacked off on him. God. Should we see the results? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be Kelly Kapowski. She's so much more. By, fun. uh... By a long time. Ham slide, bro. Oh, shit. It's Very close, close, bro. See, my fellow Topanga fans out there, they know what's up. Topanga Lawrence? She's related to Joey Lawrence or not? I don't think so. I think they're both fictional. Na- or hers is fictional. They're both. Joey's real. Characters. <laughs> next one, please. All right. The next one for Debate Club. Topanga? Dude, put anybody else up there. Dude, Topanga? Topalski. Next one from Alex Mundy. All right. What's up, Brandon Theo? It's Alex from Houston, Texas. I got a good question for y'all to debate today. What's more of a big dick move? Walk off home run in the World Series to win or a three point buzzer beater to win the finals? Let's hear it. Hmm. Mm, This one's easy. As far as a big dick move, Mm -hmm. it's when you take that fucking wooden bat and hit a home run off somebody. I think it's dumb playing All baseball. Day. Baseball's slow. Yeah, you're throwing slow a ball. Boring. Someone has to hit it with a bat. That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard of. It's the most difficult sport. It sounds like it's from like the 1400s. Which it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here, I'm going to throw this ball, see if you can hit it with that piece of wood, bro. Here's the thing. What about- are we talking about? Get a fucking PS4, you freaking freaks. Yeah, you could just play video games. You could. So much better, man. I'd rather hit a buzzer beater mm-hmm. because you... Have a your whole team is out there on the court. If you're playing baseball, it's just you. Then you're running around the bags by yourself. You have to run past the other team. If you hit that buzzer beater, dude, you that bad boy, and everybody's right there. You can That's immediately true. Your you boys celebrate are with right your boys. There. Yeah, they dogpile on top of you. Yeah, the yeah. cheerleaders are right there. Baseball has zero cheerleaders. God, these are great points. You're just playing in front now. of a bunch of alcoholics, dude. And it's a lot of daytime drinkers out there even watching. That's the majority of yeah. It. And it's so slow. I'm going basketball now. I was saying baseball. Baseball is more difficult. Theo made the best points. I'm going NBA. So Finals. you're over here? Debate club? I'm with you. Next, What's the fans say? Let's go to the results. We got 57% say World Series home Cause, run. Because it's, it's all you. Dick energy. Mm. It's all you, and you're kind of shoving that down the pitcher's throat. You know what I'm saying? Big dick It's energy. harder to do. Yeah, a good home run hitter is going to hit a home run about 6% of the time. A good well, three-point p- shooter is about 40% of the time. Unless you're big Steph dick, Curry. Big dick energy is going to get you arrested, it sounds like. It mm. seems like a term that I'm not going to be using because... Mm. You could go... Fat cock spirit. That's how you I look feel. like a kid who played kickball growing up, though. Yeah, I played kickball and a lot of good. freeze tag by himself, dude. No, so I, you just stayed in place because you had no friends. I never played freeze tag, bro. Until someone came along with, "What the hell are you doing?" Went, "You're it," and then ran across. <laughs> oh, that kid was always a freak. <laughs> yeah, he was. That's you. Uh, what else we got? <laughs> the next one uh, from our man J Rod. The Bay Club. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna stay. I've been eating Tokitos for thirteen weeks. <laughs> Fuck, man, I'm shitting blood. <laughs> I know when the honey's extra slimy, TP by itself ain't gonna cut it. So I need that extra clean. But what's better, baby wipes or a bidet? Let the debate begin. Wow, dude, I want that guy to date my sister, dude. Dude, I want him to be my friend, just live in my back seat. Give oh. me motivational <laughs> yeah, advice true. as I'm driving down the highway. I like that, dude. You will end up in a high-speed chase from the police if that guy was your Uber driver. If he's your friend, you got problems. What's I his like name? That Dirty guy. Benjamin? J-Rod. J-Rod, Dirty sorry. Benjamin? I, didn't hear it. I didn't hear it correctly. Dirty Benjamin? Yeah, like shout you can hear that Shout out to J-Rod, though. Yeah, bro. shout out to J- J-Rod. <laughs> J-Rod. <laughs> All his submissions are about going to the bathroom, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your nose versus He obviously has some sort of bowel problem. <laughs> oh, he's um, a dirty artist, man. So, and I dirty like artist. I like that, He too. is a dirty artist, dude. So it's either baby wipes or a bidet. Mm-hmm. Bidet's old school. Have you ever done a bidet? My uncle had a bidet yeah. in his house, and I thought it was a water fountain next to the toilet. Mm-hmm. And they, it gets messy. Really? Messy. Baby wipes all day, bro. Oh, I wouldn't mind a bidet if the water is warm. It depends on if you're getting water fresh out of a stream into a bidet. 
I wouldn't take something naturally yeah. out of the earth right onto my butthole. I you don't want crazy. it, man. Well, the iron that could be in that, you get mercury in your bloodstream just trying to clean your ass. I don't. So I think if they had like a chart that showed the water table or something or where the water was coming from, I'll take, you know, purified water on my ass. But you want I'm not it taking, filtered. I don't need filtered, you fucking creep. <laughs> I just need something at least that has been, you know, inoculated a little bit. I don't want that shit that's straight out of fucking, you know, out of the devil's bowel coming right at my ass, dude. Dude, a lot of the water has ter uh, uh, terpocytes in it, all kind of shit. I don't know what that is, but you don't want to drink the L.A. tap water. You're turning a fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't dude. want that going up your asshole. That's <laughs> why I say baby wipes. Yeah. Or I would just wipe my ass and then go home. That's what I usually do. Yeah, I usually just use the normal toilet paper and then fucking hit the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But baby That's wipes are easiest. nice. Baby wipes are a plus. In the summer. I'll in keep the, some in my car and the got glove that box. swamp ass, Yeah. Sometimes I'll yeah. wipe my ass even if I haven't even gone to the bathroom. Me too. It gets cheesy down there. My new thing is go pee in the toilet, then sit down and wipe my butt. Oh, that's weird. You think? Mm, yeah, pretty weird, dude. But would you rather be that guy or the guy that doesn't do that? Oh, so Debate gotta, club. You got a good point. <laughs> I'm bleeding out of my ass. That guy has problems, though. Let's go to <laughs> yeah, I love him. And he also, has anybody noticed, he looks like he just committed a uh, crime. Yeah. yeah. Dude, he looks like he just robbed all the banks <laughs> and then does videos for us every week. Yeah. He's on the run. Yeah. Does anyone notice that? Dude, if he robbed a bank, bro, that would help this podcast blow up so much because if he sub subliminally gave us clues through those videos, or, which is a good idea. Or every bank he robbed, he'd put pass a note and put gang, gang, beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what we need him to Debate do. Debate club. Am I about to rob this bitch or not? <laughs> blood, blood. Should I rob fire. it? That hog. <laughs> what else we got? The results of bidet versus baby white. 76% go baby white. Amen. Yeah, bidet's for an older older generation, for God's sakes. Well, bidet is that. It's just, you know, it's... Uh, it's messy, bro. Splash. It splash, yeah, but it doesn't splash onto the floor, dude. If that's you, you had a hose, I think is what you had. You might be right. I had you a know? garden hose yeah. come from the outside through the window, <laughs> and I thought that was a bidet as a kid. It's different. What else you got? The next one from Mason Moore. What's up, y'all? Driving right now. Yep. Mason Moore coming at you hot from Charlotte, North Carolina. Hot. I, I met him. Said it twice, bro. Mason, aka Moore Dick, aka <laughs> First Team All Dime Piece. Well. Bah! I'd say Not second all conference, but Adidas or Nike, <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure Theo's pain doesn't count on this one. <laughs> so I'm not sure he can spell Adidas. Adidas. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Gang, bro. I love this dude. Adidas. You know, there you go. You know what Adidas stands for? Huh? You know what Adidas stands for? Uh uh. All day I dream about soccer. Really? That's the rumor. Who cares? That'll dude. help you spell it, bro. Yeah. Tell your mom that next time she's teaching you shit. Uh, yeah, tell your mom something, you idiot. <laughs> what uh, I'm saying is this: what Nikes or Adidas? What do you? Yeah, uh, Pumas on. All right, I got on these Pumas from Josh Wolf that he gave me over to show. Nice. He's Pumas. always shoveling Pumas, isn't dude, he? That guy he sent me 17 pairs of Pumas. Yeah. Like, all right, Josh. Dude, outside of his house, on all the power lines, there's like 70 pairs of Pumas just wrapped around Then him. he has a real-life Puma in his house. <laughs> I'm like, all right, bro, get out of here. Quick, get fucking give me your Pumas. Yeah. So Adidas right now is the hotness because all the Yeezys. I'm over Yeezys. Nike's been doing it way longer than everyone. It's Nike. Nike all day. Nikes fall apart, though, I think. Nikes don't last that long. Maybe I, the ones in Louisiana fall apart, yeah. but in the rest of the world, they stay pretty well together. You think? Yeah, man. Jordans are Nikes, son. Yeah. First of all, who's buying Michael Jordan shoes? The guy's 64 years old now. Everybody's buying them. Yeah. You have Pumas that Josh Wolf gave you. <laughs> yeah, that's right, dude. You know, free Pumas from a friend that are keeping my feet warm, you selfish piece of shit. It's Nike all day, not even close. Adidas is is hype boy. Adidas is good, and I'll tell you why. Adidas has matching track suits that you and your children can wear if you guys are extremely poor or point. Italian. Good okay? point. Okay? Uh, I grew up uh, outside of Louisiana, and if a family really loved each other, they'd show up in a beautiful all-matching group of fucking track suits really? and eat oysters together. Really? Because yeah. where I'm from, if you all wore the same thing, you were assholes. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's strange. Whatever, bro. It's just bro. the difference in Oh, Doyle community. rules, bro. You better get oh, your fucking rules. life together, bro. So Nike I'll all go, day. Look at the fucking voting. Nike's easy. It's the cheap. It's the, it's the, you know, it's the. It's the constant, bro. Yeah. Jordan. It's basic, The Kyrie man. Irving. It's the basic bitch element of Air fucking Air Force Ones are males. hot right now. They have the off-white collection. 
I know it sounds like I'm speaking fucking Persian to you. Smoky you Nick just stuff. got the uh, premature Nick just got the mochas. Jordan threes. Not mad at those. You know what's up, Nick? Hey, take a hike, bro. When I would take shoes, a hike, and when I do, I'll do it in Adidas <laughs> tracksuit. Yes. All right, it is time for Flaunt My Aunt. All right. A lot uh, of beautiful ladies submitted. I want to say this, too, about Flaunt Mine. We've had a lot of beautiful women submitted. And, um, and you know, our goal is to uplift these ladies and make people feel, you know, hopeful and excited. Hit it. Here's the first one from j- submitted by Jack Case. God damn, that's the lead singer of the White Stripes, bro. His air quotes aunt. Okay. No, that, you mean uncle. No, his shirt says Venus. This is a female. Have some repertoire of decency. Dude, that's someone's uncle from the 80s. Look at the fan in the back. Look at the... Is that Pedialyte? No, that oh, is that's a, a Mike Miller Hart's High lemonade. Life. No, that's a Mike's Heart. That's a 40. Oh, shit. That's a 40? Gang. A that's Fendi someone's belt. uncle, bro. If three belts on. A oh, Louis one's belt. a Supreme belt, bro. A Fendi and a Supreme. That's triple oh, belted. So clearly, he's rich. So they're locking that poop. Dude, that's off. somebody's uncle that plays a mean fucking bass. What are you talking about? No, it says women are from Venus on the shirt. It's that a That don't lady. matter, bro. He might be part of the Me Too movement. Dude, thing. that's an angry lady that didn't feel like cared about by men when they were young. And so now this is the way that they're behaving. No, uh, that's a dude who does, he's a cover band for White Snake. White Snake, dude? Ever heard of them? Albinos, yeah. They are an endangered species. And they also play music. What? You ever heard of White Snake? Bro, I've heard of White Snake. I've seen White Snake at the zoo. I've seen White Alligator. No, the band, motherfucker. The band. You've seen a band of White Snakes, dude? There's call a band called White doctor. Snake. Why don't you Hit call it, your... Nick. Educate this fool. Why don't you call your doctor, dude? God, your mom ripped out the fucking music My section. My mom was in, in the, the traveling Wilburys, dude, and she was a good woman, and she still is pretty Dude, you're telling woman. me that uncle doesn't look like one of these dudes? Whatever. Who was that? This is a lady. She looks nice. She has eyeglasses on. Look at those thin lips. Zoom in on those lips, Nikki. Is that a guitar around her uh, back there? Or is that another? Is that a some sort of satchel? Look at that. She's kind of sexy. Look at this eye. Uh, the eyebrows, a soft hand on the belt. Look at the soft skin. Is that an MTV button on her badge too? It says Best Buy on it. Jesus Christ! You don't know how MTV is spelled? Not with a B. That's a, oh, she, uh, she works at Drinking Best Buy. a forty. She's standing near a fucking fan. So is that a forty? She's down to be in a struggling environment where you don't have proper airflow. I like this bad bitch. What's her name? No Dave. name. No name. Uh, uh, no name. Dave man, the Ripper. Dude. You can name Dave her. Dave the Ripper. Beautiful young lady. Thank you very much. Seems like a nice woman. Thanks for or sending handsome her. young man. Either way, she's and he is killing it. Yeah. Why don't you uh, fall asleep and watch a band of uh, fucking white <clears throat> snakes play? God, I've never heard the band White Snakes. Number two sent in, uh, the submitter didn't put their name, but this is Aunt Alexandra. Let's see her, huh? She seems like a nice person. Oh, damn, in the snow? He has you know, a little frozen vibe going. In summer! Yeah, she you ever seen the movie, bro? Uh, what movie? The Bodyguard? She looks like Whitney Houston about to get shot outdoors. Wow, see, I don't get a Whitney Houston vibe at all here, though. Really? At all. No, I get a Mrs. Doubtfire vibe, right? You know what I'm really? saying? Yeah, bro. This is fire at me. She's about to get shot at. Have you seen the bodyguard, dude? This has a very shoot me outdoors in the snow type of vibe. Uh, I get you more know? of the edge vibe here. The edge what? The wrestler? The movie The Edge. Oh, I haven't you seen that. You never seen that with Anthony Hopkins? I They're would... getting chased by the grizzly bear. They're stuck outside. Yeah, I would never watch something like that. Mm. It seems like a... To- How long is it? Oh, dude. White girl with dreads. She has dreads, bro. You missed the dreads, Theo. Yeah, and I would dread. You're not focused, bro. I would, she has dreads. I would dread sleeping in that lady's bed because she probably doesn't wash her bed sheets, dude. She smells Nothing like olives. says, hey, we got to do laundry like dreadlocks. I agree. They stink. Yeah, dude, when when you walk through a pet store and all the animals come to the edge of the cage because of jealousy out of your fucking, <laughs> fucking dirt weaving the, work. When the hamsters <laughs> want to eat your dreads, you got problems, yeah, yeah, bro. Dude. When you're running around with a fucking 14 inches of feed hanging off of your scalp. <laughs> Come on, but, but still, outside of that, man, she seems very happy. She's outdoors. She, she has a nice smile. All of her teeth. She has eyes. Yes. Yep. She has and she little, has the blue vibe going on. Blue jacket, a nice skirt. She looks like she knits scarves for gifts. She, yes. yes. And she keeps her body warm. She probably has warm... 
has a warm body. That's good. She has a lot going for her. Yeah, besides the dreads, good luck. Yeah, and give her a hug for us. She seemed like she's really up to some good stuff. All right, the next one, also anonymously submitted, Aunt Nikki Wynn. Okay. Okay, she has a gun indoors. Okay, this is somebody's aunt. And she is... Was, somebody's aunt with that pipe bomb, bro. Was she in a fire or something? Look like she might have been in a fire. Dude, or, she can jump into my arms in the fire. She has somebody's a, aunt is filthy. She has a gun and she has Vaseline all over her face. Yeah, bro. Dude. Yeah. Okay, she was in a fire. Fire, I'm guessing. No, she, not, not a fire. She, she puts out fires with her mouth. Look at her, bro. Did she get too close to a kettle? I am looking at her. Dude, what's zoom in on her face? What's wrong with her face? Very pretty. Hope she's doing well. She seemed like, yeah, maybe she... <clears throat> okay, she just lost a layer of skin. Maybe she's got a facial, one of those like... Uh, oh, yeah. When you first get a facial and your skin's irritated, it's like drippy wet. Yeah. And she gets very sticky, like a frog's hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's going on there. That's what's going on. I, I guess. Feel you. She looks like she gives the meanest happy ending Guy that ever. Failed biology, I guess. Um, she looks like, yeah. I mean, she looks like she gives a way happy ending, bro. And also a sad ending where she will shoot your nuts right off your body. Oh, no. She has I a think shotgun. She, could, I, she looks like she'll jack you off with her feet. Oh, damn, bro. And I don't have a problem with it. I don't at think all. that's true. Nick knows what I'm talking about. You got to pay double for that, bro. No, I don't yeah, think you do. so. And, her, and also, it looks like her house is a mess as well, but that's whatever. She's busy, bro. This clearly, uh, is this Halloween? I don't think so. This is a typical Tuesday. Yeah, this seems like Gwen. Oh, yeah, this seems like West Virginia, just like an average afternoon in West Virginia, just wandering around the house in some fucking leg tights. And she's in sh tall, tall Heels, shoes. Bro. She's got chokers tall on her thighs, shoes. which is very. Unique. Are those real leg? Do you think she? Yeah, those are real. She looks like she looks like she's gonna. You could put on fucking Big Trouble in Little China and eat a fucking twelve piece of chicken wings. Yeah, while she jacks you off. Oh, dude, she looks like she could fucking cook a frog in her mouth if she wanted to. She's yeah, got a real. Bro. She looks like a very chef. She has like a female chef, maybe. She looks like she eats funyuns. Yeah, she could just put a couple eggs on a plate and just shoot that gun at him and just fucking boom an omelet. Right in your mouth. She seems like, yeah. Like, yeah. just really, like, she has some unique ways to cook. She looks like she make top ramen, put double the seasoning in. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. She looks like she make top ramen, bottom ramen, dude. She looks like she's definitely giving a ramen enema to somebody. She yeah. seems like she could be a nurse and I'd pay in Taiwan or that. in uh, Saigon. So she seemed like a cool lady that could also work at a pet store. She has a lot of possibilities. You think a pet store? I don't get that vibe. Yeah. She could be a doctor as well. Look at that. Mm, wow, doctor. Yeah, I also, I don't get that vibe. Really? I get a masseuse vibe. I get a, an extra on Crazy Rich Asian. I get a um She does look Asian, kind of. Yeah. I didn't think about that. She does look pretty Asian. Oh, yeah. a little bit Asian. And all the shoes are by the door. That's a very Asian oh, giveaway. Oh, dude. Very Asian don't giveaway. Don't fucking touch me, bro. <clears throat> don't Whether you're talking about me. Asians or not. Bro. And I asked to build a wall right here between me and him. All right, Trumpy. Uh, is that it? That does it for Flaunt My Aunt. Dude, we ended on a positive note, too. We did? Yeah, hell yeah. She'll grill up some mean-ass fucking ribs for you if you want. Oh, I'd let that lady shoot me right in the fucking dick with a titty gun, bro. She's hot. Yeah, hell yeah, she's hot. All Put right. your dick away, bro. Dude, I know what you're thinking. Every I know what I'm thinking. You've been sleeping around. Yeah, I have been sleeping around on Casper mattresses. Ooh. It's the only mattress I sleep on. You come to my house, I can't get people to leave. They go, dude, I don't know what it is, but this is the best bed I've ever been out. It's Casper. Mm -hmm. Now get your grimy body off my bed yeah. and get out of my house. Get out of here. You've been here since Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. You've been here since 2016. Yeah, all right? Now get go. out of here. You got to go. It's yeah. rent free, bro. You're not napping. You're a freeloader. Yeah, man. Well, you're a roommate at this point. Casper products are cleverly designed to mimic human curves, providing in supportive mm -hmm. comfort of all kind of bodies. Oh, your man. body, your vegan body, mm -hmm. my big thickness body, Ugh. whatever bodies you want, bro. Yeah, dude, you seem like you definitely you need to get your body checked out, bro. The original Casper mattress combines multiple supportive memory foams for a quality sleep surface with the right amounts of both sink and bounce. Sink and bounce. Bounce, bounce, sink. You spend one third of your life sleeping. So you should be sleeping in Casper. Yep, with over 20,000 reviews and an average of 4.8 stars across Casper, Amazon, and Google, Casper is becoming the internet's favorite mattress. The only mattress. Casper offers two other mattresses, the Wave and Essential. The Wave features a patent-pending premium support system to mirror the natural... 
Wow, I can't believe you got through that. To Thanks, mirror, bro. I to appreciate mirror the it, natural man. natural what, Brendan? The natural shape of your body. Ooh, that booty. Affordable prices because Casper cuts out the middleman. You don't have to go to a shop where there's like, you know, there's fluorescent lights. The creepy stuff. dude in the khakis oh. going, what can I help you with? A bag, you moron. <laughs> yeah, a bag. Dude. What do you think? I'm here for the foliage? Yeah, I'm going to sit here and lay on these while you critique me. Yeah, you smell like Winston's, bro. Sell me a fucking mattress or I'm getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> delivered right to your door in a small how do they do that sized box you will never believe that there's a mattress in the box you're right bro what's in the box what's in the box but it's a real hitter free shipping and returns in the u.s and canada yeah that's right so get 50 dollars toward a select mattress by visiting casper.com slash cat that's cats with a K, man. Yep, K-A-T-S. Wow. Casper.com slash cats. Wow. And you can be sure of your purchase with Casper's 100-night risk-free sleep on it trial. You checking out for 100 nights on that 99th night, bro. If you ain't sure, <laughs> you can ship it back. Which is weird. Casper.com <laughs> slash cats. K-A-T-S. Terms and commissions apply. Terms and conditions apply. Thanks. Time for King It or Sting It. You guys want to pull out those buttons? You're fucking right, I do. Thought you'd never ask. Say no more, Aunt Gwen. Oh. It's Nikki Wynn. Aunt Gwen, bro. <laughs> Reluctantly pulling out the button. Let's go, bro. Uh. And Let's go. And this first one could be trouble for Theo. Uh, it's from Elsa Asgard, which I believe oh. to be a fake name. Elsa. Hey, boys. This is Elsa calling from New York City. Ooh. We're not calling. But... So I shot my first porn film the other day, and it was anal. And I was like, really? Anal? It's my first scene. But, I mean, I got paid double, and... I mean, it did hurt, but I kind of got into it towards the end, and the director gave me a cookie after, so it was cool. The um, oh, and speaking of ass, I saw the Rip My Drip segment last week, and Theo, my love, all I got to say is, baby got back, gang, gang. Anyways, anal sex, king it or sting it. Dude, she wants to fuck your ass. No, she doesn't, does she? Yeah, that's the vibe I got from it. Who is her? What's her name again? Elsa? Elsa Asgard. I thought she was from that movie. Um, do you want to build a snowman? No. Do you want to build? No. Do you want to build a snowman? Yeah, that one. Let's not drag that into this because that is not the Elsa I watch. Well, it looks like she probably works like that girl at parties. I'll say this: uh, she seemed like a, you know, like a lady that's really thinking about her future. Kind <laughs> of. You don't think that she's trying to get a job? Dude. I think she got taken advantage of. It sounds like if a doctor gave her something really? after sex. No, they gave her a cookie because it's the first time she let someone go in the fucking crapper shoe. Mm. Yeah, and then it also appears that she wants to fuck your ass, Theo. Well, I don't she said, know I her. watched that rip in, the, rip in the drip, and Theo, baby, got back. Oh, I got some junk in the trunk. No, he bun. doesn't. Yeah, She needs dude. glasses. I got that J in She needs glasses, bro. I got that. Because you have the flattest ass I've ever seen. You can't uh, see then. Dude, I can see perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, really, bro? Yeah, bro. You yeah, have the right. ass of Screech. It's not good. And she wants to touch it, bro. I got the junk. Did anyone else get that vibe that she wants to lick Theo's asshole? Whoa, whoa, whoa. First of all. Also, I'm... get your fucking boner off it's of my not table, a boner, bro. dude. Dude, I'm going to tell your P.O. This I'm thing's at half PO, mass, bro, like George Bush just option. died. No, I'm okay? Half mass, bro. Yeah. And I'll say this. She got that. She, she knows I got that junk in the trunk. I got that J in the tray, little, you little fucking Skittle monkey. Okay? And I know she wants that rainbow. She wants that Roy G. Biv. You know, she wants daddy to uh, pop colors all up in that boot tie. So I'll say this, you know, we'll see about it. Okay? I don't you're, know. So I'm not, you're down you know, to bidet like, that asshole for her? I don't know this woman. First of all, I'm down to maybe get a coffee or something and talk or something. But she seems... <laughs> coffee and talk? There's no coffee and talk. I'm not letting this woman near my butt unless she works for a professional organization that helps people, you know, maybe wax their butt or that somebody know if she have a doctor's diploma. She might. So, so King or Sting at anal. If she goes to medical school, then, uh, then anal. But if somebody's just freelance, some fucking yeah, I just can't some be some fucking an, bootleg nurse. Hole. No, yeah, some bootleg nurse driving a uh, 
It can't be a no alley booty hole. I yeah. don't know what's going on. With I mean, you. I think it has to be somebody you kind of get to know at least over, you know, uh, Snapchat. Which I think you guys could do. I don't know. But what she's, her... you look, she, um, did she say she's a nurse or she didn't say anything? No, no profession needed except aspiring act- actress, I guess. Uh, oh, oh, I'll solve it. Yeah, yeah. Porno star, motherfucker. Porno, porno star. Okay. Okay. The case solved. Well, I don't. I don't watch pornography. I'm 54 days off pornography right now. I'm so. gonna tell your PO, bro. You watch that. <clears throat> but you know, I'd love to hear about some more of her experiences. But um, we appreciate you reaching out. Hey, bro. Hey, king it or sting it, anal for what? fuck's sake. Jesus Christ, bro. I think she it doesn't depends. need life advice. Okay, sorry. She said guys drop loads in her asshole. Whoa, she doesn't guy, need your guy. life advice right now. She said she's working with a doctor. Okay. Yeah, that's a fake doctor with a huge cock. Is it really? Does it say it's Learn fake? Learn the there, metaphors man? here. And he gave her a cookie. Yeah. Yeah. The cookie was busting all over her face, bro. Oh, man. God, you've been out of the game too long. It feels like she's getting caught up in some stuff. Maybe she should seek some assistance, I think. Uh, all right, man. King or sting it anal. But I'm going to say, uh, for me, I'm planning on keeping my butt just right for the Lord, you know? The only way I'm getting anal is whenever I go back to the Lord. Yeah, I'm not saying that you're going to be getting done in the booty. Do you like to do it to girls? Oh, I mean, if they're adults and the people have been discussing it, people have been discussing it for a while. Yeah, you down? <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Yeah, all right, me too, I'm in. <laughs> all right, King Anal. Uh, but now, I don't think just people drive. That was a pass- long road to get there, <laughs> though, bro. You're trying to give her advice. She just wants to get fucked, man. Yeah, well, she's... God damn. Oh, you didn't see the cry for help video that she fucking sent out? <laughs> I didn't see that at all. Bro, this is she's the... trying to get... Views, bro. bro this is the, You're giving her advice on her medical bills. Well, this is the modern day throw a message in a bottle and throw it into the freaking really? river. To, to you and me? Yeah, and this bitch just tossed that into the Hudson, bro. She wants to, she's obviously being taken advantage of. No, bro, she's trying to make a somewhere. porno with you and get views. Well, I'm not doing anything like that. No, you, we got to run it by your PO and see what he says. All right, number two for King It or Sting It from Treya Hubin. Oh, wow. A brother. Hey, guys. It's Treya from Boston. I wanted to hear what you guys think of women that propose to their boyfriends. Um, It's kind of weird to me. I don't know if I'd do it, but some men like it. I'm not sure. Uh, What do you guys think of it? King it or sting it? Damn, is that an angel from Austin? Good on God. Look at those eyes and the hair and the lips. That's Treya Rubin. I thought he was going to be a shooting guard. That's a beautiful young lady. That is, she is gorgeous. Yeah. He doesn't mean a shooting guard from Kentucky. And also, it could be, yeah, it's a beautiful young lady. Um, That jacket's a little thick, Ross, and whatever, girl. She got that quarter. She dressed like Chris D'Elia. She has that Chris D'Elia jacket on. A little bit. Orange flamingo colored fucking corduroy. That's way Chris D'Elia. But Dude, you seem like a nice like lady, a Treya. Movie star. And I'll be in Boston at the Wilbur Theater. Austin, bitch. Is it Austin? I'd have to hear it again. Yeah, it sounded like Austin. That's a thick coat for Austin, though. Theo might hey be guys, right. Hey, guys. It's Treya from Boston. Boston. And so I'm going to say this. Don't fucking touch me. I didn't touch you. You put your hand out there. I'll say this, Treya. I'll be in Boston at the Wilbur Theater, so get you tickets, get tickets. Trey, yeah, Trey. it's almost sold out. But I will say this also that you what was the question? Uh, uh, women proposing to dudes? Uh, uh-uh. uh. I say no. Hell no. Look, we can't. Uh, let's let's be honest. There's some things you don't want. You don't know, take that from us. Yeah. And who's what guy is gonna be like? Yeah, this is cool. A Nobody. little straight up fucking Muppet, bro. Muppet babies think that. Yeah, a mu- cool. some fucking meek little guy that's never even used a hammer. Oh, some guy that probably works, you know, he doesn't even work. He got laid off from Geek Squad. Like some <laughs> fucking... Doesn't know how to change a tire. Only eats orange Starburst. Yeah. yeah. Propose to that dude. Yeah, some guy that lives with his mom. Yeah. But now if it's some woman that wants to be, you know, taking advantage of a guy and like manipulation and that sort of thing. Then go do your thing, ladies. That's fine. But just know the guy that you ask that that says yes. I think it's going to be a rare instance where it's cool. I'm, I mean, hell no. It's going to be cornered. If you propose to your man, you might as well fuck him in the ass down the road. Jesus Christ! Well, that's how the homegirl kicked it off, bro. I'm going to say she hell did not. No. She's driving. Not her. The, the 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 your the sister your Elsa. sister Elsa. Well, get your mind out of the dang gutter, man. Well, I can't. Elsa it was fr- freaked me out, man. Well, that's gone now. And what's here now is Treya. What's her name? 
Trey Trey. Trey Hoobin. No, we Tre- call her Trey Trey. I know her. Trey Hoobin, and that's Tre-tre. Dutch, I think. And she, um, what was her question? Women proposing. Can yeah. Sting it. And I, I say, sting it, man. Sting it. Yeah. Women, just find something else to do. Give us we don't, that. Yeah, there's some stuff that we don't do that you guys do, you know? So just don't do everything that we do. Like what, though? Huh? Like what do they do that we don't do? Here's an example for the next one from uh, Bradley Marchin. What's happening? This is Brad coming at you from Slidell, Louisiana. Gang. Me and the guys at work had a little bit of a de- debate today. Uh, one of my coworkers had just come back from getting a massage, and he was talking about the guy who gave him a massage. And I said, if they would have gave me a dude, I would have asked for a chick. Yeah. And they said they had no problems with a dude masseuse. Oof, your friend's so, gay. King or sting it. Man on man massage action. Ooh. Dude, I th- th- sting. And I, it's not, it's just, I just can't relax when a dude has touched me like that. It's just, it's, I, and I'm not homophobic or anything like that. I just can't get into my happy place. Yeah. I like a big, thick, borderline fat girl to just get on my muscles and get really in there with her elbows. Oh, yeah. The problem is they breathe heavy. Yeah. So they I, take up all the oxygen. Then they start sweating, and then I get on focus. And you get so it's a drip. fine line. It's a yeah. fine, I've had a small Asian girl really get in gritty in that. Oh, but yeah. definitely no dudes. Oh, I, I, I get that thigh massage where they walk up and down your back and stuff. I had this one little bitty uh, Vietnamese lady. I think she might have fallen directly into my ass, bro, while she was walking down my back. I mean, so With petite. a heel? With uh-huh. a heel? Dude, she could do a spinning turn, kick. And land right on my fucking spine, bro, and just solve all my problems, It felt dude. good, though. Oh, bro, I fucking remember the algebra when she fucking hit me hard enough. <laughs> so I, there were some very special moments that a lot of these ladies can do. If some fucking big dude that's been up all night eating fucking snacks and, like, you know, crying on the phone to his mom is going to then get on my <laughs> back and walk up and down it <laughs> or him. solve my problems with his hands, dude. Forearms like Popeye's. Fuck no. Sting that shit. Hell no. Yeah, dude. That's easy, bro. Sting that. And if your boy likes to leave at lunch and let another man fucking soften his body up, dude, then maybe you should uh, talk to him more, okay? And introduce him to some strong women. Because you don't have to go all the way to a man. Sometimes mm-hmm. you can stop at a strong woman Correct. and solve your problems right there. Which is what I do. Yeah. I have a couple of friends that are dating men now, and they're like, fuck, man. I should have just dated a strong woman. Oh, I'm like, yeah, you should have. I've seen a thousand times. Yeah. And it's there's that middle ground. There's that tough girl. You know? There's that arm wrestler. You know? Some chick named Janet or Tiff. You <laughs> know? They're out there. Get they're in out there. there. Get in there. All right, the next one from Chloe Ellie. Hey, you guys. These are wide strips, just to clear that up. <laughs> uh, question, king it or sting it? Women who cuss a lot. I myself have quite a dirty mouth, and my brother will always call me out on it and say, Chloe, no guy is going to want to end up being with you because you curse like a sailor. I follow that up with, Fuck you. <laughs> I just wanted to know y'all's opinion on that. Anyways, love you guys. Theo, especially you. Marry me? <laughs> just kidding. Do you think she was kidding or not? I, I don't know. I feel like she was serious. She seems like a jokester. But I was going to say yes, but... She just said I'm not kidding. No, she's serious. At the she's, end, not kidding. So you got a proposal. Dude, I feel like you're having a good day. The one girl wanted to do you in the booty and have you do her in the booty. Who knows the, what that girl wanted? And also, she I don't was either. kidnapped and if that was a cry for help. Maybe, but let's just take <clears throat> it for what it is. And then you just got proposed to, bro. Yeah, well, it's my lucky Curious George sweater. Yeah, you know not what I'm creepy in the least. That's bit. what kind of happens when you take care of yourself and show up to work as a professional. Not like you, who doesn't even memorize the whole alphabet before he leaves the house. Dude, you the pita light in your pocket. Fucking sound Um, doing it was a popsicle. Wait, so what? Her oh, girls who cuss. There's a fine line. Like if you're dropping f bombs all goddamn day, I can't bring you around the family. You know what I'm saying? It gets a little less sexy. Although she was kind of sexy with it. Yeah, but it also if you're hot as shit, I'll put up with some shit, girl. Really? Oh, you call my mom whatever you want if you're hot enough. Go ahead and salt her, girl. Suck this dick on the road home. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Dude, what can, you guys are going to get... It sounds like people are just sucking dick all the time over by you. 
What I'm saying <laughs> is Denver, this. That's Denver, mile high. What's her name again? Dandra? Chloe Ellie. Close, yeah. though. Close. Chloe seemed like a yeah, nice lady. She's Scottish or from somewhere. And I'll say this, that Chloe, what was she asking about? Um, Women girls who cuss. who cuss. Oh. Yeah, you don't have any brain. I don't them. mind it once in a while, you know? I don't mind it around the holidays, you know, like, oh, I fucking love this mistletoe or something like that. But I don't want some girl who's just like, ah, oh, fuck, it's Wednesday, you know? Yeah, I need you to, I need to use it. Yeah. It, it, you're, you're, you're degrading it when you use it too much. Yeah, I don't need, you know, just like a waitress from Amherst, Mass. You know, like, let's, ah, fuck. Let's get a fucking sandwich. Eggs, fuck, Frank died. You know, I don't need that. I need, yeah. so once in a while, I don't mind it. I don't mind it during sex. If somebody's being sexual, if somebody's, don't fucking don't touch fucking me. Don't fucking touch me. Don't touch me. And I asked you guys to put something here. Not a wall, but a plant or something. At least, yeah, if you come over here. Not allowed in. Go back home and take your kids over there, too. We're trying to get our free medical. Oh, wow. So what I'm saying is this, then. We need to allow... What was this girl talking about? Sorry, real fast. Girls who cuss. Yes. Occasionally, I think it's good, you know? Around Easter, you guys are looking outside of the church with the kids, and she's like, where are these fucking eggs? <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff, it's fun. But I think, yeah, some lady who's just... Dropping f bombs into the salad that she's making in the kitchen, bro. I'm not out. sexy. Or on Christmas, like I love fucking Christmas. Like, damn, girl. Yeah. Like you got to know when to use it. Yeah, yeah. And it's uh, but then everybody's different, you know. And I think over text messages and stuff like that, it's fine. Um, she's hot enough to get away with it for a little bit. Yeah, and I think it just depends if it's a sense of humor. But I like a lady that's a little bit more classy, a little more classy here and there. And then behind closed doors, if you want to throw it around, if we're playing Mario Kart and you're like, eat this fucking banana peel, princess. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I that's fucking fun. Won, loser. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think more than two f bombs in a day mm. for me. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. So should we sting it? It's case by case. It's case by case, but I'm going to sting it. If you're hot enough, I'll take it. King it. And what do these buzzers even mean? Do they mean anything? <laughs> Just ends the combo. The next one from Sarah Vargas. Hi. Huge fan of both of you guys. I love wow. you both, but I love Theo a little Huge. bit more. Um, can't wait to see you in a few weeks in Phoenix, but can you sting it? Who picked these? Filters. Clearly pro Theo. Who picked them? It was Jen. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to put my chin on those uh, chin Keep rests. Going. All right, replay it. That lady's from where? Brestingham? Can she feed Hi. all the children? Huge fan of both of you guys. I love you both, but I love Theo a little bit more. Um, can't wait to see you in a few weeks. In Phoenix, Gracias, Mama see. Can you just sing it? Filters on your pictures. Fuck no, that's some catfish tendencies. And she's filtered. Because you, she's filtered, right? Mm -hmm. Cuts down about 30 pounds. Leaves the fat tits. But in the face... It'll cut it down, give them bigger eyes. It's a form of catfish. Really? Yeah, because then you see them in person, like, God damn, pan face. Yeah. Because they've been using these filters. That's pandemonium, dude. I'll tell you this, man. If they want a filter, make a real filter that shows us who you really are. How mm -hmm. about a filter that shows if you've lied before to someone you care about, huh? Preach, dude. What about a filter that shows, oh, you, this person might die of alcoholism or this person's going to sell all your shit on the internet while you're out of town? How about a racist filter? How about a filter I can't read? Yeah. And it's just your face. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Wow. That sounds like a cry for help kind of from Brendan. But what I'm saying <laughs> is this. <laughs> I don't mind a filter for the first picture or two. I don't mind it occasionally. But I don't think you can do the full-time filtering because at a certain point, it's just you hiding. You know, like you can always tell like if a girl doesn't have one eye because in all of her pictures, she's like this, you know? Oh, I've seen that She's girl. like, oh, I just ordered a coffee and it's, you know, I'm just holding it by my face. Or it's like, you know, she'll be hiding behind like a little like a little black tree like this. Like, oh, just playing hide and go seek with my friends, you know? You're basically wearing a mask. Yeah. Yeah. And so sometimes certain, you got to be the real person. Sometimes. And sometimes it's fun. Like, you know, you want to look nice if you're being sexy and you want to put a little, you know, a little, you know, a little trout or a little choo choo over your cooter or whatever if you send in sexuals. But what I'm saying is if you're sending natural face shots, 
You can't Leave use it. it all the time. You could do the hat or something if it's St. Patty's, you know, or, you know. The glasses, you know, yeah. like reading a book with your tits out. Yeah, or NyQuil, you know, Danny's getting rest, you know. Mm. But you can't do it full time all the time because then it just seems like something's hiding. Then it's fake. Yeah. Live in a digital world. I'm going to stay sting it. Yeah. Now, unless you bring a filter over if you're going to date someone. If you go on for soup or something, you bring a big filter and hold it in front of your face the whole time while you eat or set it there. Then you're actually living the the life. Yeah, you're not living a lie. You're living the life. Yeah, and true so, life. I'm a filter. Yeah, true life. I'm a, true life. I'm a filter, dude. So, and if you're Jewish, you can order the gefilter fish. That's a little Jewish joke. At the end, <laughs> I believe, which is kind of cute. All right, the last one of the day from Christian Lamarch. Sounds like you're from Louisiana. Shout out to them Slidell boys that hit us. Okay. What's up, Theo? What's up, Brennan? My name's Chris. I'm from Vaudreuil, Quebec, Ontario, Canada. The French. Not really, but whatever. <laughs> gang, gang, buzz, buzz. I got a question for King It or Sting It. Circumcisions. You down for a nice clean head or you down <laughs> for the foreskin? Let us know, man. <laughs> Let us know, man. Ooh, he said, don't touch me at the end. You see that? No. And he hit his fucking stepmother. What I'm saying is this, brother. Look, if you're fucking wiener, okay? If you're wiener, your body wiener wants to look like a little damn Ewok or something, then yeah, have foreskin, you fucking creep, okay? Mm -hmm. It looks like your wiener is wearing like a little fucking dumb hat. It looks like he's wearing some sort of hood. Yeah. Yeah. I heard it I heard it feels better though. Really? Well, God gave us hoods for a reason. And then we just went, nah, fuck it. Then snipped it so it looks like a bald man. But you know who else wears a hood? Ku Klux Klan. That's a good point. Who else does? Who else wear think about hoods? Little red riding hood. Yeah. And she Ku Klux died. Klan members. Ku Klux Klan. ISIS. The shit don't end well is what I'm saying, guys. Dude, so, you are dropping knowledge today. Don't fucking touch me. Dropping dude. fucking K's, boy, like Randy Johnson. I'm fucking whoo, killing swans, bitch. It was a so, pigeon. But was yeah. it really? It was a pigeon, yeah. No swan a giant swan? Doesn't make sense, does it, Theo? Yeah, swans are in the air. They're huge. Yeah. A swan he didn't kill a swan. He didn't blow up a swan as a pigeon flying by, bro. How was there not a uh, a, a video game, it's Randy Johnson oh, in an birds. aviary. Oh, like just, Duck Hunter. Yeah. Duck, but Randy Johnson like this. Boing, how boing, did nobody boing. make that? God, how? That's definitely Why should we not make that? Yeah, and let's see that video of him killing that pigeon right there. And look at that. Fifth, Blew the pigeon up. 15 years ago today. It's like wow. one in 20 million chance of this happening. You know when you're Randy Johnson, dude. Probably one in three. He now if it's a swan. What was this lady asking about? This guy was asking about, the Hulk was asking about circumcisions. Okay. Dude. Also, first of all, the man is dressed up like the Hulk. So it Looks like he wants to circumcise people, I think. Yeah, and he seems like really a guy who's trying to, you know, get his life back together and get things in order. There's it's no art on the a, walls, so it's, it's obviously. It's an Ikea couch. Yeah, he's shooting pornography videos, and he's definitely, it's a Airbnb that he's running a porn scam in. But I'll say this, outside of that, he seemed like an outgoing, gregarious young man. I think that's Elsa's doctor. Yeah, it could be. That's man. what I, there's a connection there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's definitely a connection, bro. Here's the problem why you gotta circumcise kids because the rest of the kids and Nick, you clearly have a anteater for a dick. I can get that vibe from you. Circumcised so, all the way, sir. I don't really? think so, I don't bro. Believe that I don't either, believe actually. that either. You don't give off that vibe. So you should get a tattoo that says that. I agree, at least on your face. So, <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like when my son's in the lo like if he's in the locker room, the rest of the kids have the helmet. Right. If he has the only anteater, you know those locker rooms ain't nice. <clears throat> And if you have that long one, you got to paint that thing a little bit dark if you're going to pull it out in the classroom. That's what I think. Because if people see that dark hitter, they're like, oh, that guy. You oh, know. he has a bat wing on yeah. his dick. But if you pull out like. that long, white fucking, yeah, that thing that's just eating insects, dude, it's not going to go over well. I heard you have to clean it all the time, too. Yeah, somebody says you have to take it in. You got to clean. You have to get like a little. A check, an oil change. Yeah, I heard it quip, gets dry. One of those quip toothbrushes. Like somebody said, you have to do all these like specialty little deals. Special massage and shit. Yeah, I'm not doing that. It's too dude. much. It's not too paying much. some guy to fucking snip walk up and down my up, wiener. Bro. Yeah, you know, hell that's no. insane. Bro. Nah, snip it off, bro. Yeah, th th that's the past. Now, could I see that making a comeback? Yes, I could. Yeah, hoods are in, I heard. People want to do different stuff and people want to grow, you know, grow their dick out and keep different skin on their body. That's fine. So I'm gonna say so it's king or sting it circumcision. 
I'm saying sting it, man. I'm, I don't want it. I just... No, don't cut innocent kids' dick. So you're saying king it, keep it. I'm going to say... St- well, is he... He's sting. sting circumcisions if you don't want it. Keep uh, the hood. You're stinging circumcisions. No, because the only reason to do it is uh, obviously because everyone else has a helmet. But the other thing is it's just a religious tradition. It makes no sense. It definitely makes sense, dude. People make died. Sense. Imagine you have a long skin on your dick. And you know it's the Lord's turtleneck, bro. And you suddenly you get a fucking piece of little almond or something in there, like and in you the die. blender. In the blender, you're yeah. Or you fall down blender. and get a little dirt in there, and you'd forget about it. You just shoot that thing out. No, but you get it in the skin. It's gonna get you're gonna get an infection. It's I'm dangerous. Say, I say uh, sting it. We just do it for religious reasons. Yeah, I say just until we need it, or people need to hide something small like a jewels or something. If you're still in jewels, yeah, keep it, man. That's a good idea. You could keep a couple diamonds right around the edge of your fucking headpiece. It's a kangaroo pouch for your dick. Yeah, but if not, dude, I don't think you should be doing it. And also, this man is also wearing a green... Uh, you can't see him, but this guy's man is dressed up like the Incredible Hulk. So maybe also circumcise your childhood, brother, you know? <laughs> and uh, and I just say that because I can need that from experience, dude. I'm still doing shit that I did when I was a kid, you know? So... And sometimes I wish I would change some of my own ways. So, oh, this guy's sad. <clears throat> it's not sad. No, I'm you're talking right. to this no, guy. What's his name, well. Jonathan? No, you guys are doing well. This is Bradley. Yeah, Bradley. God, bro, you have the worst Bruce memory Bradley ever. From, uh, That's Bruce Bradley from Incredible Wayne. Hulk. Bruce Wayne's Batman. You're right, bro. Wow. What was the Hulk How, guy's name? Child? Bruce. Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner, baby. And, uh, Dude, King or Sting? Praise God, things. brother. I say, I say King now. Uh, sting this foreskin. No Keep more. Keep them dicks long. No, just get rid of them. No, I say keep them. You want those little turtlenecks? I don't care. But if you see one, how are you going to feel? Ah! Okay. But keep it. <laughs> okay, so you like a little bit of fear, dude. Yeah. It's fear-based. I love that, yes. actually. All right, Thanks, keep them bro. bitches, bro. Yeah. Send in, a couple, send, in, send in a couple pictures of them. I agree. I haven't seen one in a long time. Yeah. Rip your drips. Rip yeah. your dick. We'll rip your whip, brother. Send that sucker in, dude. Rip your stick. Yeah, and we're not doing that. But actually, if you don't, if somebody does have one, send us a picture from not close up, but you know, stretch it out like a bat wing for us. No, I don't. What are you going for? Send here? it from a medical perspective, dude. We're not. I'm not doing shit like that. We're gonna get in trouble. Yeah, you're probably right. Don't send them. Yeah, or Is draw that it, one. Bro? That's but it. But if you have it, draw it or get somebody to draw it, or just describe it to us in a video. Yeah, yeah, maybe that. Let's what do a couple of descriptions off. of what it's like to have uncircumcised penis and some of the pitfalls of that and some of the joys of that. Pros and cons. <clears throat> yeah, we'll Sting do that. Sting it or king it. So we'll do a pro and con video uh, next week of um, of that because I've never even thought about it before. And, and pros if I don't and have cons one, of dicks? Yeah, and people can tell them if there's a well, pro. We need, the, we need the pros from someone with the anteater dick. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We got two helmet squad here. Right, so we don't. this is only for people that have them. Yeah, don't submit to us if you... You're just fucking guessing like us. This. I think it'd be neat to have a couple. Let's try it one time. Pro and con of... Circumcision? Of circumcision, yeah. And what it's like to still have that fucking long header. You know what I'm saying? What it's like to have that fucking body straw. What's it like to have that cape on the front? You, yeah, you could just slurp a puddle up. You know, you could <laughs> yeah, fucking bro. finish a slush. What it's like to have that wizard sleeve <laughs> yeah, on your fucking dude. dick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dude. That thing, definitely, bro. You got that fucking hide and go suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like to have that thing? Let us know. Is that and, it, bro? And That's praise all. God, man. Thank you guys for your submissions. And I'm just tired today, man. Sorry, I've had a long week. I know I'm a little bit tired. So no, I you're not really tired. You it. killed her, brother. You did great. Um, if to, just so it's clear, I get this all the time in my DMs, not on circumcised dick pics. I get how they submit questions and videos. The way you do it is in the link in the YouTube dis- description box, mm-hmm. correct? And, yes, and then this week we're going to have separate links for Rip My Drip, King It or Sting It, every, every single one. Oh, wonderful. So, there you go. So it's in the link in the description box of the King and Sting YouTube. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's how you submit them, y'all. Yep, and you can support King and the Sting by following us on Instagrams, and you can support us just like how you guys have been. Subscribing, yep. the fan artwork, the fan say, submissions, thank you so all much. You guys in. make the show. We love you guys. Dude, this shit has been a blast. You can support our uh, advertisers and sponsors if you want to, if it's something that you need, and uh, and we greatly appreciate it, man. This has been exciting so far. We're still in a temporary studio. Some people don't know that. So at some point, we'll be moving to a different studio. Correct. Um, and... Uh, but we've been, you know, really fortunate to have 
just a fun team that we're working with and to be figuring this all out and have Nick and Chin on board to help us out and even Kat. And Malka, Kat, and, uh, the whole squad, man. Yeah, it's been a unique experience. Um, and we keep didn't know it how going. it was going to go. Let's keep it we going, keep it dude. going. All right? We appreciate good, it, man. Guys. Don't fucking touch me.